What is going on guys? Chris the Music here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over how to make a robot voice, a techno voice, a dance voice, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's real simple. It's going to be a short video. Uh, first of all, just get, getting right to it, I'm going to show you how uh, it sounds, what you can do, and then we'll go ahead and get into how you can make it with a new live set. You can follow along if you have Ableton Live. This is Ableton Live 12, by the way, uh, just if you're wondering. We're going to be using a what's called a vocoder. I come stock with Ableton, so everybody should have it. This is from my uh, new remix that I just posted for Post Malone. I had some help featuring Morgan Wallen. Um, so this is what the vocoder could sound like. Okay, so you can tell that that is not what the original song sounds like. Basically, I just created my own melody, and then I routed it to this audio track uh, using a vocoder. And I'll go ahead and show you that once we get a new live set open. This is just showing you what you could do. I can mess around with this for hours. For example, this just sounds like this. So you get the idea. Let's go ahead and just teach you how to route this over. So we're gonna go ahead and quickly pull up a new live set. Okay, so now we're in Ableton Live. This is what you should be looking at once you launch it up. First of all, we're going to go ahead and make this a little bit easier for you. So we're just gonna have one MIDI track and one audio track. Um, I just like to put the audio over the MIDI just cause I'm OCD like that. But we're gonna go ahead and get a vocal sample. Uh, this vocal sample that I got is just a random vocal sample that I have. I think I got it from splice.com, which I actually really like. So we're going to go ahead and hear this vocal as it sounds. Uh, it is warped, but I don't. it's just warped to 132, which is what it's originally at. Let's turn this down and we'll just hear just the vocal. Hola, que tal? Como te va? Quiero saber de ti y de tu vida. Okay, so that's just a quick vocal, so I can go ahead and show you how to get that sound uh, that we just heard. So, we're going to go over to Audio Effects, uh, the Audio Effects tab. We're going to go over to Vocoder all the way at the bottom. There is presets also. Um, I recommend just playing around with it. Uh, everything in Ableton, if you didn't know, uh, and if you're just tuning in, everything on Ableton, if you just highlight a button or something, like if you just don't click it, if you just highlight over it, um, right here in the Info View, It'll tell you exactly what anything does. That's why I love Ableton, especially for beginners, because uh, it can be overwhelming. So just if you don't know what something is, just highlight over it, and it'll tell you exactly what it is. So for example, this is an automation arm. Uh, stop button, play button, arrangement position. Uh, this is an audio clip. Like every everything on the screen, you can highlight, attack time. And then it has a brief description. Anyways, I'm sorry I got off track. <laughs> I just love that feature. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get a vocoder put it on the audio track just so we can go ahead and see what that sounds like okay so that that is not really the sound that you want unless you do want that sound then that is great for you but we're going to go ahead and we can actually put this on external modulator pitch tracking um i like to put enhance as well uh, but we're going to go ahead and leave that on external and you can just leave that there for now um, and you can just call this whatever. I'm just going to call it vocoder. All right, so now all we need to do is just create a MIDI clip. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and insert empty MIDI clip. And honestly, let's just go to uh, Serum. You can actually do this with any, any instrument. You can even do it with the stock instruments. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go to Serum just because I can find a lead easy. easy. Um, let's see, let's just turn this down so nobody gets their ears blown off. That's a good one, that's fine. So now that we got our instrument, all you need to do is create one single note. And depending on what song you're doing, you can just put it in key of that song. I don't really have any song right now, it's just a vocal sample. Uh, it is in the key of A, so let's just go ahead and create that. And there you go, that's literally all you have to do with your MIDI clip. And just so we can see what it sounds like. And I might have to change sounds because this is a pluck, but we'll go ahead and see uh, what it sounds like anyways. So what you can do is just put this all the way down to nothing, no volume. Then we go back to our audio track here. Now that we have our MIDI clip, 
we go to external we go to audio from and then we go to our vocoder main that's what our MIDI clip is on that's what we renamed it so then all you need to do is just play it and I do need to get a better sound just so I can show you all that okay that works so this sound basically you don't want it like a stab you want it the whole the whole way so this is what it sounds like and remember to always put the volume down on this one because we don't need the volume from this one we're actually routing it to um, this vocal over here and then basically you just play around with it how you see fit to your song um, on obviously you can EQ it reverb whatever you want um, the dry wet I I like to leave this a little alone maybe like an 80 to 90 range so what that basically means is that you're gonna hear the vocal you're gonna hear the original vocal and the vocoder as well the depth is basically um, the space in between so just for reference we put it all the way up and then if you put it down it's gonna just be longer so uh, attack uh, if you don't know what it means it's just the beginning of it release is you know release and the unvoiced is basically just literally the spots in between so you can hear the spots in between and then like I said I like using enhance without enhance it sounds like this it's just personal preference with the vocoder also what I did for the song that I showed you guys I don't really have you know a melody or anything right now but you can actually create your own kind of melody uh, how you want like I said I don't have a song right now it's just a vocal so um, just to show you like random notes that I'm doing so yeah guys basically it's uh it's free reign seriously you can get so creative on this that's why I love the vocoder you can make it sound so weird that it sounds good uh, or you can make a melody just based on the vocoder which is just up to personal preference there you have it guys I hope you uh, enjoyed the video if you have any questions just leave it in the comment below if I didn't explain something that you understand it just leave it in the comments below i'll try to answer all the questions that come up in the comments i wanted this video to be a little bit shorter than you know the 15 minute mark because it is really simple i would just wanted y'all to learn it uh watch it and then y'all can go ahead and try it for yourselves in your ableton live but anyways guys i hope you have a great day like comment subscribe whatever you want to do and i'll see you in the next one